What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Johnny Sins and today I'm gonna go through and show you some super, super, super easy methods for you to get just really, really, really bouncy hi-hats, man. I'm super excited for this one because a lot of these things that I'm about to show you are stuff I kind of figured out along the way and every time I implemented, I really felt like I leveled up my hi-hat game and being able to morph and blend each thing I'm about to show you, I know that this video is gonna help you. So I'm super pumped for this, man. But yeah, guys, if we get this video to 1,200 and 42 likes I will choose a bunch of commenters and give them the option to choose any kit that they want from me I got a whole catalog on treesoundrecords.com and I got a couple other ones in the description below like my uh, CXDY and Lester curse drum kit and you guys could tell me which one you did not illegally download off Reddit and I will send you that kit so yeah let's just jump right into this video oh yeah guys really 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 quick before we get into this video I am closing on a house next week it is a dream home of mine I would like to live there for the next 20 30 years and you know have a family there or whatever you know whatever that, that adult stuff but I couldn't have done it without you guys I'm forever thankful I want to do kind of a full story on how I started producing and how I got to where I am because I had zero literally zero connections when I started not a single person in my family or anything anybody had connections and I just did this thing for fun and I'd love to start doing other content where I start doing like more vloggy styles I got all my childhood friends moving in with me I got three of my childhood friends from when I was like six five six years old moving in and we're just gonna be coming up with a whole bunch of dope content but I don't want to do anything on this channel that like you guys don't want so if you guys don't want like vlog style stuff or like funny you know it all always gonna be music related but not just straight up tutorials please let me know and if you do want that stuff also let me know because the content's gonna be awesome man thank you guys so much and yeah alrighty guys you already know what it is we shameless plug on this channel so I'm gonna be using the Lester and Cody curse drum kit uh, link for that and his in the description below I'm not gonna go into like the really basics of making hi-hat patterns because you guys already know how to do trap rolls all that stuff I'm gonna go ahead here and I have this crispy hi-hat show you some stuff that maybe you don't already know let's make a really simple hi-hat pattern two step and copy this all over it already gives it a little bit of a bounce with these variations right here so you got that going for you already first thing you could do if you want is play with the out is it gives you a little bit more of a tingy hi-hat that can lend itself to giving you more freedom to do rolls and stuff like that it just sounds a little bit better when you're when you're trying to do really intricate hi-hat patterns rather than a really long hi-hat now it's not a really big difference, but it's just the little details that you do all add up into you know a final product. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. What you could do is come over here into the uh, miscellaneous functions tab and change your shift. This is essentially what you're doing when you're playing with that knob. And what that does is it gives your hi-hats a very weird bounce uh, on its own and what another thing it does too kind of inadvertently it makes sure that your sounds don't clash so your snare is going to be hitting you know right here and it's not going to be hitting at the same time as the hi-hat so that you could still hear the hi-hat and it'll sound good i'll show you that a little later next thing you can already do is click alt r give it a little bit more natural sound and you can play with the pan release velocity knob i mean and you guys already know that and let's get into doing some stuff here some simple stuff make sure you come over here and have uh, cut itself on okay we got this here I'm gonna copy this over and then I'm gonna start out on another layer of hi-hats and that's the main the first step you could do is start layering your hi-hats but I'm gonna take it a step further here and I'll show you that as I do it I'm gonna turn down these ones cuz I don't want them so prominent Something like that. Change each note. When I want to change the velocity and have it kind of slightly rise or slightly go down in velocity, just right click and you can drag it. You know, you can see what it does here. This is something I like to use a lot and it's kind of different from what I see people do is I go ahead and I find another hi-hat something that's not really generic sounding maybe a little bit more tinge like one of those more unique sounding hi-hats let's go with sharpie here I'm gonna copy and paste this over I'm gonna go ahead here and delete this right here you can delete this too if you want these top ones but I'm gonna go ahead and delete these go back into the other hi-hat pattern delete the opposite of what I did there and what I'm doing here is I'm holding control and that lets me drag it what I want to delete not delete right away right off rip make sure you come over here cut itself but you can hear it. 
it just adds a little bit of that more you know dynamic feel to it. it doesn't feel like it's the same hi-hat you just got two layers now and that's the first thing i like to do and then you could come in here if you want if you want that second one to be more subtle add a little bit of reverb maybe even delay you could play with any effects you want even cut off some high hand i or uh, high hand cut off some high end is just gives it like a very like vinyl vintage feel Don't worry, I'm gonna integrate this all into a song later. Then you could come in, use an open hat. Let's find an open hat. This is basically method number two. Okay, let's just go with the first one here. Cut it, and you can utilize an open hat basically as another hi-hat. So you're gonna come over here into this envelope tab. You know how you do it with like 808s, where you get full control, make it stop when you want? Just copy these settings here, and what this is gonna do is when I do something and I let go, that's when the sound stops, period. It doesn't finish. What this does is it gives you a lot of opportunity to do really cool stuff in a little bit more of a unique way that I see most people using them. And get experimental with it. This is actually fun for me. I like messing with it, seeing what kind of weird patterns I can come up with. And you can bend them like as if they're 808s as well. You come over here to a slide or a portamento and use that to your advantage in any way you want. The shorter you make the slide here, the faster it will transition to that note. So if you have it on a G, it will transfer from C to G in the amount of time as you have it here. So if you have it here, it'll take all the way to this time to get to uh, C. And if you have it dragged really short, it'll do it pretty fast. So right here, you got a cool pattern going. Cut out a little bit of high end if you want, add a little bit of delay if you want. I don't always do it, you kind of do it by ear and you'll figure it out. Best way to figure it out is by experimenting. I'm kind of like trying to just lay the, the foundation here and like plant the seed in your mind that like these are things you can do, but you don't need to use them all, all the time. So I have ping pong here on, so it goes from ear to ear in my delay and I have it panned so that it really, really, you know, is atmospheric with it. Nice. Yeah, here's how that sounds. Now, I don't like how uh, harsh it sounds right now with the open hat, so I'm going to take out a little bit of high end. What I'm going to do here is record my own hi-hat and use it as a sample to layer as an under layer to the hi-hat pattern like I just did. Kind of keep in mind for this is I want a lot of very natural, realistic hi-hat sounds, not like trap ones. I'm going to do it from scratch on a new pattern. And you don't got to go crazy with this either. Coming up with something super basic pattern. So we got something going here already and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in and record that and treat it as a sample. And right off rip, <clears throat> you wanna play with a lot of the effects. For this, I usually don't like to have low end, so I'll cut out the low end, any low end that's in there. Now you can get way more intricate with it and do a lot more stuff, but for the sake of this, I just wanted to give you a, a base of like what kind of stuff you can do. I like to use a mono it. Actually, I'll probably use RC20. Go ahead and open this. Have a little bit of noise here. Probably not distortion. And then from here, you can go ahead and add some effects. So if you want to use uh, halftime or grow speed or something along those lines, let's use halftime and very subtle low end. Come in here to the panning and just start changing the panning. Go like this, cut this. Now it's going. And it's switching, the panning's switching. There's a little bit more atmosphere, which is really important for tracks in my opinion. Let's go over here, layer that with the first pattern and see how it sounds. Maybe not as harsh. I'm gonna go ahead here and save this and open up my Terminator project because people always ask me and it leads into my next uh, tip that is just super underrated and I don't see anybody using it. So I wanted to show you guys. So let me save this and open up my Terminator project, which is a collab between me and VB Got Heat and he's an absolute 
menace with the beats and i wanted to show you this is something i did on my uh one of my ig posts and people were asking what i was doing or like oh cody plays his hi-hats live and stuff like that and i use it as a tool so i want to show you that right here all right guys so i got this project pulled up and i'm just going to show you a little preview before i get into telling you probably one of the most underrated and underutilized things i see people not doing in their tracks and it is playing stuff live and recording it and going back in and editing it because there's just something you can do with feeling it out as you go as you hear the beat going and playing something and then going back in and quantizing it you just don't see a lot of people doing that here's a little bit of a preview Perfect. thing is here is we have the open hi-hats here and we have exactly what i was talking about before and you able to have full control over the envelope Okay. Something that's really underutilized is just playing sounds live. And then I'm going to record my own section and just play it as the song goes on. And I'll show you afterwards how to quantize that and make sure everything sounds like it's on grid and stuff like that in a way. <laughs> As you can see, I am not on beat, but that is why I'm not a DJ and I'm a producer because now I have the luxury of going back in and clicking everything in on my own. I'm gonna kind of get it sort of where it's supposed to be, get it around the right area. Then from here, make sure you have something magnetized maybe over here. I'm gonna go conservative with it and then we're gonna click Control Q, which is quantize. See how this all sounds. I wanna keep everything kind of low and then we'll go in after. <laughs> You can see at the end, I, I got so offbeat that even quantizing it couldn't fix the issue. You can hear where it's supposed to be, so you just come in here and manually fix it. Okay, so you got something here. I'm gonna click Alt R to pan and mess with it. Now you have a nice underlayer of open hats. There you go. Go back to that other track i was on and just lay down a very very simple beat okay so we got this pulled up here i'm just gonna pull up a pack and then add very simple drums and let's start adding some sounds in here go to curse drum kit find a snare So we got something here, boys, just to give you an idea of the things you can do with the hi-hat to give it bounce. Now, like I said, you don't need to use all these at the same time. Let me just split by channel so I can kind of show you. You don't need to OD because I don't like using too much sound. So I have like a little bit of a demo here of just using it all. I wouldn't use them all at the same time, but for the purpose of this, I wanted to show you that like how you can kind of integrate it and use arrangement to add spice with the hi-hats and give it all the bounce in the world. So let's take it from here.
Alrighty guys, that basically wraps it up for this video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not gonna show you guys anything that I don't use myself. So yeah, I use all these methods here and there. I pick and choose which ones. I usually don't use them all at the same time just because I wanna give room for the artist to work. Play around with this and come up with your own style. Uh, if you guys liked, you know, drop that like. Let's get that thing to uh, whatever number I said earlier in the intro and let me know what content you guys would like. And again, uh, that intro question I had for you at the end. Thank you so much. Yeah, peace.